in this video, we will look at the mouse and what it does. So right here, I've drawn a picture of the mouse on AutoCAD. And we're going to look at the three buttons, starting from the one on the left. So we're going to start with this button here. So the one on the left selects items. So basically, if you click on an item, it selects it. Or if you go up here, you click on an icon up on the top, it selects it. So that's the purpose of the first button. Now, the next button here, the middle button here, it has a purpose as well. The middle button zooms. So if you roll up on the middle button, roll up, it zooms in. If you roll down on the middle button, it zooms out. Now, if you hold the middle button, which is what I'm going to do now, you can move the drawing that way or the other way. So you can move around in the drawing. It's called panning. Again, zoom up, you roll this way, hold the button to pan, zoom down, you go downwards, okay? Zoom out. Okay, next, if you double click on that middle button, so quickly double click on it, the whole drawing appears on the screen. So you can like zoom all the way out here, then you double click on the middle button, and your entire drawing appears on the screen. Okay, that's the purpose of the middle button. Zoom, pan, and show the drawing on the screen. Finally, the button on the end, the right button. If you click on the right button, a menu usually appears, and I rarely use this menu. The other, the other objective of that right button is an enter key. So as opposed to hitting enter, sometimes you can just hit the right button and enter occurs, as opposed to hitting the enter key. Finally, on the keyboard, there's two important keys. There's the escape key and the enter key. So if you're not sure where it's located, I have a little picture here on the keyboard. The escape is usually here. What happens if you're stuck anywhere in a drawing, just hit the escape key and it gets you out of commands. And enter usually finishes a command. So the enter is over here and that one usually finishes a command. Now I would recommend when you type numbers in, that you use these keys here. Make sure the number locks on and you use these keys to type numbers.